Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Sampurasun Hello nice people there And welcome back with me To the Uni Talk program Right, still at the Uni Talk program For sure at Stravis TV And for today edition I'm still actually with him With the coach, you know Wow <laughs> With uh, so many experiences Coach, really with uh, many certificates and so far he's been explaining about what is all about NLP but for this episode I think it's better for us to talk deeper really how do we use NLP with the program that we have and as we know that unit talk is actually dealing with English public speaking program so, Coach Alkas, yes, yes, welcome back I to the show anyway. Thank you very much. It's really great to be it's, here. Sure, it's nice to see you again here at, at, at the episode. And as I early mentioned it to the viewer, nice mm -hmm. people there, and we're going to talk deeper mm -hmm. about NLP for English public speaking. English public speaking. What would you say about it? All right. So, first of all, perhaps one thing I can say is, well, we're talking about NLP on mm -hmm. this case. So, I like to talk about public speaking in different perspectives. Mm -hmm. While some other people perhaps already learned about public speaking through many courses or right. through several lessons, mm -hmm. I like to ask them to take a look at this uh, point of view of public speaking with different perspectives with what we call as a belief system. Mm -hmm. Why do I say so? Because I found some people who already learned about public speaking, especially English public speaking, right? but they still come up with the kind of response that I don't know, I already learned public speaking, but somehow I still found some difficulties in doing public speaking, right? especially right. in English. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what I can say is perhaps they don't really realize about their belief system about the public speaking in English itself. Mm -hmm. In NLP, or I can say in my NLP coaching session, mm -hmm. I used to ask clients to explore their inner belief system, which I used to mention as a four pillars of belief system. How many pillars? Four, four pillars. pillars. Exactly. Okay. So the first pillar is actually about goals or the things that we want. Mm -hmm. Some people, they think, I want to learn public speaking. So the goal is to learn about public speaking in English. But some of them, they still don't realize the importance or the value of learning the public speaking in English itself. So right. they have what we call inner sabotage because in one part they want to learn it, but in other part they don't perceive it as something important. Right. So right. that's about the first one about goals. Mm -hmm. And the second one is about process. Right. Process right. means the things that we are undergoing to get to that goal. Right. For example, I want to learn public speaking and I know public speaking is important for me, especially in English. I know very well. Mm -hmm. So there is no problem with the first pillar of belief. Right. But the second pillar, sometimes some people say, I don't know, learning public speaking in English. Right. And, and some people even they ignore the process. Exactly. Right. <laughs> they ignore the process and they perceive it as something really painful. Yeah, really. So if they already perceive the learning itself or the process itself is something painful, then they will not make any progress because they cannot enjoy the flow. Right. I can I can say enjoy the flow in English. Enjoy, enjoy the, the flow. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. And and the third one is the is uh, what I can say about the the, the killer of the skill. Well, some people they already learn the English public speaking, but somehow they still busy their own mind and they still think that my skill is not good enough right. I am not adequate enough my skill is still uh, I still have problem with this I cannot remember many vocabularies or and so on right so that means they create their own standard which mm -hmm. actually limiting themselves mm -hmm. about the skill itself right right and the fourth one which is actually the most important thing for me and my client especially during my coaching session is about what I call self-worth. Means, mm -hmm. am I worth it enough? 
to present this? Am I worth right. it enough to learn this? Right. Well, the last one, the, the last pillar about self-worth is something that's quite deep. So, mm. uh, and it's really, it really has something to do with self-image. Yeah. Do we feel uh, I am good enough to present? I am good enough to socialize? Right. So basically, those are four pillars. Mm -hmm. For people who already learned about English, but they still have some difficulties, I will strongly suggest them to check their belief system. Right. And it's not only about English, not English speaking. Mm -hmm. It's sure. about everything. Mm -hmm. For those who have low performance, I will really suggest that instead of doing motivational training, mm -hmm. try to find or try to check your inner belief system. Right. We never know what can be your inner sabotage there. Mm -hmm. So let me talk more deeper about the two pillars that I'm interested in. And I'm interested in to talk anyway. The first one is the belief. Mm -hmm. The belief. Yes. How do we change our inner belief system? Okay, that, that's really a wonderful question. Yeah. Basically, to change our belief system, there are many ways, there are many principles, but I will really suggest the easiest way to change your belief system is to find an appropriate environment for you to get the new belief. Wow. So, for example, you want to learn about English and you want to perceive English as something easy, then go to the appropriate environment, which I actually perceive English as something easy, right. something fun to learn, mm -hmm. and I, I believe you can find it. Uh, yeah, you really, you can just join Unitalk, that's right. public speaking that's club, right? That's it's right. easy. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So once you are in a good environment, finally, the, that the other belief system will be vibrating to you, and you can change your own belief at the end. It right. will happen ultimately. And it actually comes from, from yourself, right? That's right, that's right. And mm. that's what we call as determination, not motivation anymore. Determination, not right. motivation anymore. Yeah, anyway. right. Let's talk about number four anyway, because that's right. we need to, uh, what is it, uh, take a look at ourselves deeper, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the fourth pillar about mm -hmm. the self-worth is actually something that I found is quite sensitive for mm -hmm. some people. So I will um, strongly suggest for those who have problems with self-worth, they think they are not good enough, not adequate enough, mm -hmm. I will really strongly suggest them to come to a personal coaching session or counseling right. session because I can help them to really reveal and to also do some kind of reconciliation with that own belief because wow. it's always something personal and so so, you, or, or you you are suggesting them to to what I said to deal with with themselves, right? Exactly. Exactly. That's right. That's wow. Right. So that's for this episode. Don't you really think that this is nice program, nice episode, nice people? That's what we can talk about NLP uh, for English public speaking. We'll see you again at the next episode. I'm Ian signing off, and bye bye.